Although the moon has served as a constant companion to our blue home planet for many billions of years, we're still far from unraveling all the mysteries of Earth's natural satellite. Despite all the research projects and manned lunar landings of the past, there are still some groundbreaking new discoveries about the Earth's satellite that allow us to look at the nature and characteristics of the moon from a completely new perspective. In the course of the following video, we would like to delve into this fascinating topic and present some breathtaking lunar discoveries from the past years. We'd like to start with the mystery of some strange light phenomena that regularly haunts the surface of the moon. Do you want to see more fascinating videos about the most breathtaking spectacles and discoveries in the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space and activate the notifications to stay up to date. If you find our videos entertaining, give them a thumbs up. Now let's get started. Strange Flashes of Light on the Lunar Surface The Moon has always been revered as a mystical celestial body. Thus, in the worlds of mythology and spiritualism, many exciting legends abound about the constant companion to our blue home planet. The reason for these supernatural interpretations was not only the mere existence of the Moon, but above all, the fascinating spectacles that regularly take place on the Earth's satellite. This means not only the different phases of the moon or unique events like lunar eclipses, but also some mysterious light phenomena on the surface of the satellite. These brief flashes of light have been observed by mankind for many centuries. Despite this, for countless decades, experts have been unable to plausibly explain this unique spectacle, known among scientists as lunar transient phenomena. Hoken Kyle, a professor of astronomics at the University of Würzburg in Germany, was also captivated by the strange activity on the lunar surface. To get to the bottom of this incomparable galactic spectacle, the expert and his team decided to conduct a large-scale study. As part of the research, the scientists first installed a state-of-the-art telescope in a private observatory in Spain. The complex technical equipment finally entered service in April 2019. At this point, one might ask why the experts from Germany, of all countries, decided to pitch their scientific tents in Spain. Professor Kyle justified the choice of location, a rural region 60 miles from Seville, with the simple circumstance that in that area, better weather conditions for the observation of the moon prevail than in Germany. An unsolvable mystery? Since the researcher Patrick Moore coined the term lunar transient phenomena in the late 1960s, more than 1,500 reports of the mysterious light phenomena on the lunar surface have been reported. Specifically, these are localized luminous phenomena that are not infrequently accompanied by mysterious color changes on the surface of the Earth's satellite. How many of the more than 1,500 reported observations are ultimately scientifically relevant is extremely difficult to reconstruct. In fact, many of the corresponding reports come from amateur observers who are not experts in the field, and some of the sightings were also recorded under adverse weather conditions. Besides these reports from modern times, there are also dozens of other historical stories dealing with inexplicable events on the lunar surface. Besides the already mentioned life phenomena, which sometimes last for several hours, gaseous nebula structures were described again and again, present in the most dazzling colors. One of the oldest known reports of lunar flashes dates back to 1178, when some monks in the British city of Canterbury saw an inexplicable spectacle on the moon, which they described as a burning flare on the surface. Although most sightings of lunar flashes have originated among the general population, there have also been some observations of light changes on the lunar surface recorded by astronomical experts. However, in order to decipher this great astronomical mystery, scientists have sometimes had to enter the realm of theoretical speculation. The hopes currently resting on Professor Kyle's ambitious project are therefore all the greater. Interference Factors in the Investigation The telescope with which the scientists examine the light phenomena is equipped meanwhile with two ultra-modern cameras. However, 
The technical equipment is not controlled from a headquarters in Spain, but from the Würzburg University campus in Germany. As soon as the telescope detects a light spectacle on the lunar surface with its two cameras, more in-depth investigation mechanisms are initiated. The resulting images are, in turn, automatically sent to Kyle and his collaborators. In the process, the software used in the telescope is still being constantly refined and improved. Over time, the program should learn to independently detect lunar flashes and distinguish them from other phenomena, such as technical faults, or passing aircraft and birds. At present, however, the SpaceX Starlink satellites still pose quite a problem for Kyle and his colleagues, as these objects repeatedly cause the telescope cameras to malfunction. The scientists are currently comparing their images with the results of other ESA telescopes to rule out any possible misunderstandings. Scientific Explanations Although the exact background of the breathtaking natural spectacles on the moon has not yet been deciphered, scientists are using a number of theoretical approaches to try to explain the mysterious phenomena in a comprehensible way. Thus, at present, there are several theses, ranging from the effects of different gas flows, to the results of smaller galactic impacts, to electrostatic spectacles. If one follows the remarks of Professor Kyle, the gas flows are a particularly promising candidate to explain the moon flashes. We have known for some time that the moon repeatedly undergoes seismic activity. As a result of these natural tremors, gases could escape from the interior of the moon and make their way to the surface of the satellite. If the sun's rays hit the outflowing gas formations, they could reflect the incident light and ultimately cause the breathtaking spectacles that have kept mankind in suspense for countless centuries. Beyond that, it's very probable that at least some moon flashes are caused by meteorite impacts. A comparatively large number of galactic boulders strike on the constant companion of our homeland planet. Scientists were able to observe such an event on a January night in 2019. At that time, a meteorite struck the outside of the satellite just as it was in a state of total lunar eclipse. The resulting flash of light on the surface could be detected by many terrestrial observers. Residual volcanism could also be responsible for the luminous formations, supported by the fact that the aforementioned natural spectacles are almost exclusively located in a few crater regions on the Moon. The expert world awaits Professor Kyle's investigations with bated breath. We will probably have to be patient until we can say with final certainty what underlies the light phenomena on the lunar surface. Violent Rock Falls the light phenomena on the Earth's natural satellite are not, however, the only astonishing events at the center of scientific interest. Last year, for example, a number of experts from the Max Planck Institute and ETH Zurich made a breathtaking discovery on the Moon, the further investigation of which is likely to play an extraordinary role in the context of future manned lunar landings. In fact, huge rockfalls occur on the Moon time and again. Gigantic boulders regularly fall from higher lunar areas onto the surface of the satellite. It's well known that the falls of these heavy objects leave deep traces on the outer surface of the Moon. For a long time, however, researchers were unable to compile an overview of the exact manifestations and frequencies of these natural phenomena. This undertaking has now been successfully mastered by the staff of the above-mentioned institutions. For this purpose, the experts analyzed more than 2 million images of the Moon's surface. In fact, the experts succeeded in thoroughly examining more than 135,000 rockfalls. Until then, scientists had assumed that the collapses of the rock masses were mainly caused by the influence of seismic activity. The groundbreaking finding of the recently conducted study is that, in truth, more than 80% of all rockfalls are due to the effects of asteroid impacts. And it's not only the direct, short-term consequences of an asteroid impact that created these rock formations. Complex networks of porous underground cracks are said to develop around the impact craters, which can cause rockfalls long after the actual asteroid impact. Lunar Mountains and the Dark Side of the Moon The asteroid impacts are influential, however, not only in the occurrence of rockfalls. The landscape of the Earth's satellite has always been inscribed forever by the numerous collisions with galactic flying bodies. Thus, it's assumed that the lunar mountains were formed within a few minutes as a result of asteroid impacts. 
The force of the impacting objects was sufficient to form gigantic peaks on the lunar surface within a very short time. If one keeps in mind that the process of formation of our terrestrial mountains is estimated as many millions of years, this circumstance appears still more astonishing, and thereby the highest mountain on the moon, Muns Huygens, with a summit height of more than three miles, truly stands up to its counterparts on Earth. Finally, we would like to clear up a widespread misconception. As it's well known, the moon always turns one and the same side to our Earth. For this reason, that area that remains hidden before our earthly eye is colloquially is referred to as the dark side of the moon. However, this is an extremely misleading name. Of course, the side of the satellite facing away from the Earth is also illuminated by the light of the sun. Specifically, the backside of the Earth's satellite goes through exactly the same lunar phases as its opposite counterpart, only in reverse order. This just means that on the far side of the satellite, there is a radiant full moon when our constant companion appears to us as a faint, crescent-shaped new moon. What do you think about these breathtaking spectacles on the lunar surface? We look forward to your comments. Thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time.